Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jesse. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of tangents and the solution of a quadratic equation, then here is an interesting problem. A square with edge length 5 units is given. A quarter circle is drawn inside the square which is centered at one corner of it. Now a circle of maximum size is drawn in such a way that it touches the arc and two sides of the square as shown in the diagram. Then my problem is, what is the area of this green colored circle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. For better understanding, let's give some notations to each vertex. The square is named as ABCD and the three touching points are named as P, Q and R. Now let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, ABCD is a square of side length 5 units. Secondly, the arc BPD is a quarter circle arc centered at C. And finally, the circle touches the arc at P and the square at Q and R. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is to find the area of the circle. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Before moving to the solution, we have to note two important properties required in this solution. Property 1. Consider two circles touching each other at some point externally. Then the fact is, the centers of them and their touching point are collinear. Similarly, if the circles are touching internally, still the result is true. That is, centers of the circles and their touching point are lying on the same line. Now property 2. Consider a circle at an exterior point O. Now draw a tangent from O that touches the circle at some point R. Now draw a line from the point O that crossing the circle at the points P and Q. Then the fact is OP into OQ equal to OR square. That is the product of the lengths OP and OQ is equal to the square of the tangent OR. Now come back to our figure. Draw the diagonal of the square which symmetrically cut the whole diagram. Now mark the touching point of the circle and the quarter circle. Considering the quarter circle as a part of the complete circle, we can see that they are tangent circles touching internally at some point. Now, if we mark the centers of them, then by the property 1 we told, the centers and the touching point are collinear and that line will be a part of the diagonal of the square. Now observe the figure carefully. We can see a diagram which is similar to the diagram we have seen in property 2. Keeping some notations and comparing with the property 2, we can see that the product CP into CS is equal to the square of the tangent CR. Now suppose the radius of the circle is R. Then a clear observation shows that the tangent CR is equal to R. Now comparing with the quarter circle, what would be the length of CP? Clearly CP is a radius of this quarter circle and it is same as the side length of the square which is equal to 5 units and hence CP equal to 5. Now apply the formula that gives 5 into CS equal to R square that is CS is equal to R square by 5. Now one more thing we can notice is that the length PS is actually a diameter of the circle therefore PS is equal to 2 times R. Hence CP equal to 2R plus R square by 5 which is equal to 5. Simplifying this equation will give a quadratic equation R square plus 10R minus 25 equal to 0. Now in general, if we have a quadratic equation AX square plus BX plus C equal to 0, then the general solution is given as X equal to minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC whole divided by 2a and here the equation is 
r square plus 10 r minus 25 equal to 0. So the variable x equal to r and the constants a equal to 1, b equal to 10 and c equal to minus 25. Now substitute in the formula and solve the equation. Finally we will get r equal to 5 into minus 1 plus or minus root 2. But r is the radius of the circle which is always positive. That implies r equal to 5 into minus 1 plus root 2 or 5 into root 2 minus 1. That's it. The radius is 5 into root 2 minus 1 and we need to find the area which is pi r square. Substituting the value of radius will give area equal to 25 pi into 3 minus 2 root 2. This value is approximately equal to 13.4753 square units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.